Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at sequences and we're finding the nth term of a sequence. So here we have some sequences uh, and you should see that they're going up by the same amount each time. So the green sequence is going up by 5 each time, the blue sequence is going up by 2 each time and the red sequence is going down by 4 each time. It's called arithmetic sequences. And these are sequences of numbers which increase or decrease by the same amount each time. Nth term. So when we talk about the nth term, this is a rule for generating the sequence. We've got the n's at the top. n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8, etc. These are always whole numbers and it's just counting numbers. And this uh, means the position of the sequence. So, for example, if n is 1, that's the first position of the sequence. If n is 2, that's the second position of the sequence. If n is 7, that's the seventh position of the sequence. And then we've got the expression 3n plus 5, and this is going to help us generate the sequence from the n's. Let's see how this works. So, if it's n is 1, 3 times 1 plus 5 gives us 8. And so we substituted the n into the expression to find the uh, nth term of the sequence. So the first term in the sequence is 8. Let's go again now. So 3 times 2 plus 5 will give you 11. And that tells us the second term of the sequence is 11. Let's get going. Let's substitute 3 in now. 3 times 3 plus 5 is 14. So the third term is 14. And you should see that this sequence is just continually going up by 3 each time. And we can keep going. We can substitute 4 in, 5 in, 6 in, etc. Uh, and this helps us generate the sequence. Okay, notice that the amount is going up by each time, the 3, the plus 3, is a number in front of the n. So 3n plus 5, the number in front of the n is 3, and it's going up by 3 each time. Okay, example 1, what is the nth term of these sequences? And he also asks, what number will be in the thousandth position of these sequences? Okay, so let's find the nth term first. For the first one, it's going up by 10s each time. So it's going to be 10n, and we're going to add something on the end. The number that we add on the end is the previous one before the 40. So if we go backwards 10, you get 30. So it's like you're counting backwards in the sequence, the previous term, and that will go on the end. So it'll be 10n plus 30. Let's see that again now. So we're doing 2.5, 5.5, 8.5, etc. And you should see you're going up by 3s each time here. So it's going to be 3n. And we're going to also go backwards by 3. 2.5 minus 3 is 0 0.5. Sorry, minus 0 0.5. The minus sign is important. So you're going to put a minus 0 0.5 on the end. Again, if it's a negative number, it's really important. So if the number you go backwards by is a negative, uh, it's going to go on the end as a negative. We get 3 uh, minus 0 0.5 as the final answer. Next one, 5 minus 1 minus 7 minus 13. It's going down by 6 each time. So it's going to be minus 6n. And then if you go backwards, by adding 6, 5 plus 6 is 11. So the previous term would have been plus 11. So we get minus 6n plus 11. Final one, 0 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.9. This is going down by minus 0 0.3 each time. And if you go backwards, you'll get the previous term is 0 0.3, so we add 0 0.3 on the end. And that is the final answer for all of them. Now we're going to find the thousandth position, so by substituting n equals 1,000 into our expressions. So 10n plus 30, uh, 10 times 1,000 plus 30 is 10,030. Now substituting 1,000 into this one, 3 times 1,000 minus 0 0.5, you would get 299, 2,999.5. It's 1 minus 6,000 plus 11. You get minus 5,989, which is the final answer. And then minus 0 0.3 times 1,000 plus 0 0.3 will be minus 299.7 as the final answer there. And so we find, found the thousandth term of these sequences by just using the nth term and substituting n equals 1,000 into it. Now example two, we've got the dots below making a sequence of patterns from dots. 
Uh, what is an expression for the number of dots in each term? How many dots will be in the twelfth term? And will any term in the sequence have 100 or 101 dots? Okay, so there's five dots in the first one, eight dots in the second one, and 11 dots in the third one. And it continues going like that. All I've done there is counting the number of dots in each sequence. It's going up by three each time. And if you go backwards one it'll, uh, term, it'll be two. So you get 3n plus 2 as the nth term. So you want to find the 12th term, we're going to put uh, n equals 12 into that expression. 3 times 12 plus 2 is 38. So the 12th term is 38. Okay, now we want to find uh, what uh, if 100 or 101 occur in this sequence. So we're going to make 100 and 101 equal to the nth term. So 3n plus 2 is equal to 100, or 3n plus 2 is equal to 101. I'm going to solve this equation. We'll start by taking 2 off both sides, and we'll get 3n equals 98. And then we'll divide by 3, and we'll get n equals 32.666. Now that is a weird decimal, and that's not a whole number. So you can't have an n, that's not a whole number. So this means that 100 will never be in a sequence, because n is not a whole number. Let's try with 101, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. I get 3n equals 99. Divide by 3, and we get uh, n equals 33. So that is a whole number, and that means 101 will occur in the sequence in the 33rd position, uh, which is indeed correct. So we get 100 is not in the sequence, but 101 is in the sequence. Okay. I've got some practice questions for you to try here. So I'd like to start by doing the green questions where you're filling in that table. Uh, so there's some missing terms in that table and I want you to fill them in. Then for the red question, uh, it's a bit trickier. Uh, you've got the uh, patterns made from matchsticks. I want you to uh, look at the uh, number of squares created and the number of matchsticks used and create an nth term for the number of squares and an nth term for the number of matchsticks. And then for question two, I also want you to find how many lines are in the 200th uh, shape. That, that means by lines, I mean matchsticks. So you can pause the video there and try this yourself. Uh, in a few seconds, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and I will be uploading new videos very soon. Also check out advancedmaths.com for more useful resources to help you revise and prepare for your exams. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.